Chit, 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 chit. You already know. It's your boy Joe back at it again. Codingface.com. All right, guys. So today I have something special. It's a little bit delay. I was supposed to drop this yesterday. But as you guys may know, my son was born on Monday. So kind of threw the whole schedule, <laughs> you know, in the air. All right. But last week I gave you guys a challenge. I said, come back this week and create something with a framework that you have never used, okay? And three people actually did the challenges. Very simple, very easy. Just find a framework that you are not comfortable with and create something interesting for us, okay? So the very first person that sent me something was Paulo Ribeiro. And as you guys may know, Paulo Ribeiro, he's out here busy, bro. Like he's really doing the 365 coding face challenge and he's also doing the weekly challenges. Okay, shout out to him. Okay, so today he decided to do uh, basically like an e commerce website with Vue.js. Okay, so this is a pretty cool project, very simple. Okay, uh, pretty much what you can do is come here and you know, click on add to cart and automatically it shows the icon here of how many items are in your cart. Okay, so it's pretty simple. Now, let's say if I come here and I say, you know, with R, rip jeans, so there's filtering. Okay, you know, if I click here, there's really no other pages, but as far as the uh, features that it has, it has adding things to the cart and being able to filter the different uh, t-shirts and jeans and socks etc okay so it's pretty cool I like this project very simple and I like he chose Vue.js which is another framework that he's probably not comfortable with so he tried it out okay shout out to him let's go to the next one so we have here by Brandon so what he did was he actually created a cryptocurrency ticker and I believe he did this with React. Okay, I'm pretty sure he did this with React, and it's pretty cool. Okay, I don't know if you guys could see it, but basically, as there's changes on on the prices, it changes automatically without you having to do anything. So I really like this because this is actually pretty useful. All right, and let me see, can you filter? Let me see, BTC, hmm. I guess not, okay, but as you can see, some numbers just change automatically, so yeah, he says build with React, follow him on Twitter, Icon, uh, 365, Code Face Challenge, shout out to him, shout out to your boy Brandon, okay, now, my favorite, to be honest, I think is this one, by Javier Leon, Okay, he did this with Vue.js, and it's very creative, okay? So what he did was he created, like, a mock-up of a website, right? And then you're able to change the colors through here. So I could come here and say, hey, it had a background. I want a purple. I click there, and it becomes purple. Now, if I want to also add a new color that's not here, I could come here and just change it and say, like that, CCC, E, 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 you know, or let's say E5, 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 and as you can see, there you go. So it's pretty cool. I think what he did here was pretty legit because you not only are you able to change the background on this, you could change the primary. You could say, okay, I want to change this to primary to be purple. I could change the navigation to be, let's say, uh, white. I want this to be white, so I could say like this. Okay, change that to white. Uh, hero headings, that's fine. Hero button, change this to, to green. You see, so it's pretty cool. I, I really like it, right? It's a very simple application. And I'm gonna tell you something, Javier. <laughs> I think I'm gonna I'm gonna take this idea, which of course I'm gonna 
also give you credit and I'm going to create a tutorial on how to do something like this but with maybe react or polymer and like I said, I will be giving him credit <laughs> so that people will be like, man, Joe, you're taking his idea. I was like, yeah, I am <laughs> because it's such a great idea. I think you could come here and create like a, a very simple mock-up with something like this and then play around with the colors to find what could actually work for your website. And it will be great. You know, he did it with Vue.js. I'm probably going to use something like React or um, use something like Polymer or even Elm or something like, I don't know, Riot.js, something out there, right? Because I also want to challenge myself to create something like this. I think this is very cool. And the way how he did it is so simple, man. Like, all he's really doing in here, if I can go into the editor, is pretty much having all the colors inside of arrays and then from there changing the colors um, inside the arrays right and then being able to to say you know change the color by the index finding the index changing the color or pushing a new color into the array so it's so simple so it's like man Javier you, you actually killed it with this project bro because to be honest, it's so simple that not a lot of people would have thought about making something like this. So I'm really happy that you you actually joined this challenge because you know you're really pushing the you know pushing the mark right now. Okay, so I'm really happy that you you're a part of this, and of course I'm happy with your boy Brandon doing something where it's like I, I don't know if he's using WebSockets, but I'm almost sure. I haven't gone into his code uh, too much, but it's pretty cool that it's basically is live. It changes as the prices changes. Okay, um, your boy Paulo Ribeiro. I know this was like probably like a very simple project, but at the same time, you gotta also understand your boy Paulo Ribeiro. He's doing uh, the 365 challenge every single day, so I can definitely understand if if he didn't get to put in. That much time into this one because he's probably working on other things so shout out to him but for today I'm definitely going to give it to your boy Javier Leon and thanks to him I'm actually gonna redo this but with other frameworks and maybe I'll change the the styles and change a whole different uh, way of looking at this uh, this uh, I got this layout sorry about that my computer almost dropped <laughs> I'm on my laptop guys I apologize uh, when I get somewhere next week into the office I'm gonna build a whole bunch of uh, cool new videos for you guys but as you guys can see I just had a baby so this whole week is gonna be a very busy week okay so you know don't forget about me if I don't drop a video every single day or I am gonna drop a video every single day but just in case I don't drop like, you know, a uh, super interesting video every single day, don't forget about your boy. Just know like this week is, I just had a baby, so I have to do what I have to do here. But I will be dropping more Crystal Lang videos to make sure there's always a video every single day here. Okay. And by the way, guys, I want you guys to go check out 24-7 Code Block. Okay. If you don't know how to get there, just search 24-7 code block, click on YouTube, and here you go, guys. This is the YouTube channel. This is the channel where I have a whole bunch of talks that are being uploaded every single day, and also we're adding tutorials, okay? If you want to build a quick portfolio, here's a tutorial on how to do that, okay? I have that available for you guys. Uh, there's a lot of small projects that I'm going to be putting here. So don't miss it, man. For all those people that's always saying, man, Joe, you know, we want more tutorials. We want more, you know, projects. Like, go ahead, do it. Well, now you you know that we have this other channel called 24-7 Code Block where we're going to have that. Now, of course, those little projects that I'm building are always going to be first on my website, codingphase.com. 
And like I said, if you are a member, you have access to all of this. Okay. Now, at the same time, you get exclusive content, exclusive courses. You get the files for every single project that I built. Okay. You get everything. You pretty much get everything, man. You can't complain, right? You get the all access pass. You could buy a course on your own. It's up to you. Now, what I will say is, personally, I will say sign up for the monthly plan. Currently, right now, on the description and also on the comment section, I'm going to put in a link to a 60% off. Okay, this is a limited time. The 60% off is going to go away by the end of the week. So take advantage now because 60% off is not going to be around any longer. Okay, so take advantage. All right, guys. Now, the same thing that we did here this week, what I want you guys to do is for this week's challenge is to find a programming language that you've never used before. It could be Crystal, it could be Elixir, it could be Ruby, it could be PHP, it could be C Sharp, it could be, uh, I don't know, C++, C, Java. It could be whatever it's out there, right? I want you guys to find a programming language and build a very simple project. I don't know. I mean, of course, wow us, right? Show us something that's amazing. You know, like Javier Leon went out his way to create something cool. Show us something, right? It could be a CLI. It could be uh, something like a, 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 you know, a CLI game. It could be uh, sorting a tree. Like, t show us something, man. Show us something in, in a language that you've never used before, okay? Now, all you have to do is build this by next week now i want you guys to do it in a way where we can all see it meaning it could be on heroku could be on digital ocean it can be on repl.it it can be on any platform right cold sandbox uh let's say cold pen you know like find something out there a language that you've never used before could even be typescript right some of you guys have never used typescript even though TypeScript is pretty much like JavaScript, but with types, it's still another language, right? Create something. It doesn't matter what it is. I'm leaving it up to you guys. But create something with a language that you've never used before, okay? Challenge yourself, guys, okay? I want to see more than three people, okay? And I also want to say to everybody that's watching this, guys, if you fell off the 365 coding face challenge, please guys get back on the horse. <laughs> I know a lot of people have been lazy. You know, we had like 80, 100 people doing it. We're up to like day 30 or, you know, I don't even know the exact date that we're on right now. Let me see what's today's date. Okay, November 20th. So we're pretty much already past the, you know, the 30 day mark, right? So basically, a lot of people have given up. So please don't give up. Some people think that just because you missed a couple of days that say you're disqualified. Guys, anybody that makes it above 300 days still has a chance to win. So that means you got 65 days that are like open that you can miss. Of course, what I would say is try not to miss any days. But if you miss a day, just know you got 60 days that you can miss, okay? Don't give up. Come back. Get the challenge done. I want to go to your town. I want to go take you a brand new MacBook Pro. I want to do this for you, okay? And I also want to motivate you, all right? So don't give up. Don't give up just because you miss a couple of days. It's all right. Come back. Start doing the coding face, you know, the 365 coding face challenge. Leave your comments. Put in your hashtags on your Twitter, your Instagram, your Medium, wherever you're at, right? Wherever you're documenting this and come back and put it up, okay? You still have time, all right? It's only been the first 30 days, right? If you missed out 30 days and you still haven't started, cool, that's fine. Just come in, 
anybody that has above 300 days is going to be entered to be part of the final uh, choices of like who's going to be the one that's going to be winning. Okay. So I'm going to see you guys later. It's your boy Joe back at it again, codingface.com. Like I said, guys, go visit codingface.com. Go sign up for the subscription base, man. Every single month we do at least two to three new courses. Okay. Original price is $1,100 if you're planning on buying each course on your own. Why would you do that when I could tell you, hey, man, you could literally right now get the monthly plan for $8 a month, okay, for $8, less than McDonald's, bro, you could go to McDonald's and order a freaking, a Big Mac, and that's it, that's almost $9 now, okay, for $8, you literally, if you take advantage of the 60% off, you could get it for $8 a month, okay, same thing for the yearly, you could get the whole yearly for $80, you know, you get what I'm saying, the s <laughs> lifetime, come on, bro, like, Take advantage. It's up to you, man. You know, I want to continue motivating you guys. I want to help you guys do this, but you got to help yourself. All right. So I'm going to see you guys later. It's your boy Joe. Back at it again. CodingPhase.com. Your boy's back. And I done did it again. Dad.